Hello everyone, this is a short tutorial which explains what is syntax director translation. It does not go into depths of explaining everything in detail but just covers the topics overall. So let's begin to understand what is syntax director translation. So what is it? What is syntax director translation? Syntax director translation is just translation of languages using the help of context-free grammars. Now what do I mean by translation of languages? By that I mean translation of one language like for example a language or an arithmetic expression which is written in infix form. For example 9 plus 3 plus 2 which is an infix notation which is easily readable for humans but the computers find it difficult to understand is then translated to computer readable form which is such that 9 3 plus and 2 plus. Computers can easily interpret postfix notation and therefore most of the programming languages which are written in human understandable form are then converted by compilers into postfix notation so that computers can easily understand and interpret whatever is written in it. So syntax director translation is just translation of languages making changes in the language or executing some actions, executing some fragments of the program, executing a bit executing a certain list of statements which are mentioned explicitly when a certain context-free grammar rule which is mentioned gets satisfied. Now why is syntax director translation used? Syntax director translation is used in compilers for type checking. It is used to check if the type is proper by converting the normal form into a form which the computer understands. It is used for generating the intermediate code, which is the which is the three address code. It is used for converting infix to postfix, as we have already seen. What is syntax director definition? Syntax director definition is a total mm -hmm. group of context-free grammar together with attributes and rules. So a syntax director translation looks like this. It is the production and the rules which are to be applied when the production gets satisfied. Whenever, for example, this production gets satisfied, then what needs to be done, what action needs to be performed is specified over here. And it also provides attributes. It provides attributes for all the non-terminals. So attributes together with the rules and the original grammar productions all these things together is called syntax director definition. A syntax director definition is always stated in the form of a table. Further, what are attributes? Attributes as we have already seen with this notation are written after the name of non-terminal with a dot. The name of attribute is written after dot and an attribute can be any variable name it can be the data type of the variable, it can be the data stored in the variable, or it can be any information which specifies more, which gives you more information about the non-terminal. Moving on to the next topic, synthesized attributes. A synthesized attribute at node n is defined only in terms of attribute values at the children of n and n itself. So what are synthesized attributes? Synthesized attributes can be defined as only those attributes whose value can be determined by looking at the values of or by using the values of the children or by the values of other attributes of the same node itself. These nodes and the tree which is called an ordered parse tree is prepared with the help of the grammar, the production rules, the actions which are specified for that production rule. So for example, if the value of t dash dot syn, syn is a dummy attribute. The attribute over here can be any of the attribute like the data type of t dash. So if the value of syn attribute of t dash can be calculated with the help of the children, it can be calculated using the values of attributes of children nodes like the value of the t dash dot syn attribute can be calculated with the help of f dot val and other children nodes of t dot syn such as steven dash dot syn etc 
if that is the case then the syn attribute present over here is called a synthesized attribute moving on what is an inherited attribute an inherited attribute at node n is defined only in terms of attribute values at n's parent n itself and n siblings so an inherited attribute is an attribute whose value can be calculated looking at or by taking help of the values of the parent node the siblings or other attributes of n itself now consider the value of this attribute inh inh is a representative attribute but in reality it can be any attribute such as the data type the name etc for t dash so for example consider this node to be n if the value of attribute present at t dash for example t dash dot inh can be calculated with the help of value present at the n's parent it can be calculated with the help of n sibling n sibling is the node n sibling is the node present at same level that is f dot val is the sibling node of t dot inh so if the value of attribute inh at t dash at n can be calculated with the help of the parent node the siblings or using other attribute values on the node n itself then it is called as inherited attribute moving on to the next topic s attributed definition and sdd is s attributed if every attribute is synthesized and sdd sdd stands for syntax directed definition which we have already seen over here a syntax directed definition is called an a syntax directed definition is s attributed if all the values if all the attribute values are synthesized attribute as we have already seen in this example some of the attribute values are inherited but if all the values can be derived from the from the child nodes and from the node itself then it is an s attributed definition an s attributed definition has a special feature such that if you start a bottom up tree traversal in any order leftmost or rightmost then you will easily be able to find the attribute values of all nodes since every attribute in a s attributed definition is synthesized attribute its value can be derived from the children if you already know the value of the leaf node you can easily calculate the value of the parent node and so on till the root node moving on to the last definition of l attributed definition and std is said to be l attributed if the nodes can be synthesized or if they can be inherited but there are certain rules for inherited attributes the nodes can be inherited only if their values can be derived from the nodes present to the left hand side in the tree or they can be inherited attributes whose value can be taken from the head of that attribute that's it for today's tutorial thank you bye bye